If you've clicked on this video, chances are you're interested in building your very own mobile app that drives recurring revenue every single month. Something that has potential to earn while you're sleeping and also builds real enterprise value, an asset that you can sell one day. Well, you're in luck because in this video, I'm breaking down the exact case study of an AI selfie editor that has scaled to over $2 million in monthly recurring revenue. There's no fluff in this video, just real actionable insights. I'm gonna show you how this app exploded with viral growth, the monetization strategy behind it, and how you can learn from and apply these same tactics in your own mobile app, even if you're just starting from scratch. The principles that this app is using are some of the same ones that I've used myself to scale my quit vaping app to over $44,000 per month in monthly recurring revenue. And this is the cheat code. You simply learn from the most profitable apps out there, and that way you speed up your learning curve when you're building your own. You already know what to do. You already know what the best in the game are doing, so it'll be much easier to find success. So stick around with me until the end of this video because once you see how this app scaled, you'll walk away with a proven blueprint on how to scale your own mobile app. Let's dive in. Boom, here it is, the AI selfie editor that is printing $2 million per month. This entire document with all of the links to the important stuff included is going to be in the description of this video. If you want this document, I'll send it over to you for absolutely free, just check it out. The app we're going to be covering in this video is an app called Retake AI. And if we check out their sensor tower link here, they are generating a staggering $2 million per month in monthly recurring revenue. So let's get into it. We are gonna be covering why this idea works. We're gonna be covering the features in this app. We're gonna be covering the onboarding flow. We're gonna be covering the paywall. And the most important part, we're going to be covering the marketing. How on earth are they sending 400,000 downloads per month to this app? We're gonna break down all of it, but let's get started with why this idea works. Obviously this idea works because it's solving a painful problem for mainly females, right? Girls always touch up their skin. There's many apps like this that do insane revenue numbers. This is one of the first ones that used AI though. So this is a very powerful concept. Also, it's a little bit controversial, which makes it quite viral. You're gonna see later when we cover the marketing in their marketing videos, they do a lot of before and afters, touching up photos and making girls look, you know, kind of different. So this is a controversial topic and concept, which makes it perfect for scaling on social media because controversy drives views. So that's why this idea is absolutely killer. So let's get into the features. You can fix bad pictures with AI. If you're not looking at the camera, it can change the direction in which you're looking. It will change your facial expressions. It will retouch skin. You can remove objects and photos. You can enhance the quality and you can get different variations of every single photo that you take. And keep in mind here, in all of the preview images on the app store, it's females in the preview images. So we definitely have a pretty good idea of who they are targeting. And you can see they cover each one of the features here. This is an amazing app store you know, landing page here. Their screenshots are very powerful. They touch on each one of the features. So I bet that this app store listing converts like crazy. Okay, now let's get into the onboarding flow. I provided a link of their full onboarding here. Okay, so let's jump into the onboarding here. Simple video playing in the background. You click get started and then continue and you are taken into the paywall. So there's no extensive onboarding on this app. They're not asking you a ton of questions. They simply show you a video, a before and after, and then they throw you right into the paywall. Now, something you'll notice about this paywall is it is not a hard paywall. They actually have an X button up here in the top left. They try to hide it a little bit. They have a transparent X button here on the paywall. I wouldn't be shocked if they're AB testing a hard and a soft paywall, but it looks like here for the most part, they have a soft paywall so you can close it out. But what you will notice is on the paywall, they have all the features once you do upgrade to a weekly or yearly trial here. So, you know, they remove all the limits and you can access endless content. So we can assume that even if you don't pay for the paywall right away, they probably let you edit, you know, one photo here. And then afterwards, if you wanna edit more, if you want to have access to more of your photos, then you would definitely have to upgrade to the subscription. So that's unlike a lot of the onboardings that we see nowadays. It's extremely short. There's just a video playing. It shows you, you know, the feature, the before and after, and then it throws you directly into the paywall. Again, it is a soft paywall. So they want to get you into the app as soon as possible, which proves the power of the features that they are marketing here, right? When they're running a soft paywall and they just have limits on your usage in the app, they're very confident that this app is powerful and people will come back time and time again, which I think speaks to this niche of selfie editing. It is a very powerful tool and people are very 
compelled to continue using the product. Okay, and then if we look at their paywall, you can opt into the three-day free trial, um, and then they have all these different pricings that they, I'm sure, are A-B testing, right? They have a one-week uh, all the way from $5 to $10, and then they have a monthly option for $14 per month, and then they have the yearly for $69 and $79. Let's see. Yeah, so on both... Oh, that's interesting. They only have a three-day free trial on the weekly. It doesn't look like they offer the free trial on the yearly. Very interesting approach. But yeah, of course, if you want to walk through their entire onboarding and you want to see every screen in this app, go ahead and click on this link. This tool is absolutely incredible. I highly recommend that everyone check out that tool. Okay. Very straightforward. When we see super short onboardings like this, we know that their marketing is extremely powerful and it's typically a very simple app to understand. You don't need to really walk the user through a long onboarding and compel them to purchase the product because they already know what the value is going to be from the marketing. So we can tell already off the rip that this marketing is gonna be extremely strong. Real quick, drop a like on the video so you see more videos like this, videos that actually teach you something instead of the brain rot that we're all used to watching on YouTube. If you like this video, it will tell the YouTube algorithm that you wanna see more content like this that will actually teach you a valuable skill. With that being said, let's get back into the video. And if we look at their TikTok account, they have 3,100 followers, and then their Instagram account, they have 123,000 followers, which makes a ton of sense, right? It's a photo editing app. Instagram is primarily a photo app. TikTok is primarily a video app. Of course, Instagram has reels, but when people are posting photos, they're typically posting them on Instagram. So it makes sense that their Instagram presence is a little bit stronger than their TikTok presence. And after searching for retake on TikTok, you can see that they are working with a ton of influencers here. So they're doing a lot of influencer content we can take a look at some of these videos um, that were posted by some creators this one has 6.1 million 329,000 this girl has 11.6 million so again we can tell that they are targeting female influencers with a very large following and we can go ahead and take a look at these videos as well it's all pretty much before and afters showing the app itself at work this one is kind of a reaction video this one's great this one absolutely crushed it with 121,000 likes they can think i look like that in real life and they can compare themselves to a fake photo of me this huh? is not a filter it's called okay <laughs> This video actually isn't even an ad. She is actually torching this company. She is talking trash on retake. And this is, again, you know, something we covered at the very beginning. It's controversial, which is why this works. The craziest part about this video, even though she's talking trash on it, I guarantee you this video sent tens of thousands of downloads to retake. That is one of the benefits, maybe a pro and a con of being a controversial app right? Especially one like this, you know, this video doesn't necessarily show the app in good light, but I guarantee you it still drove installs to the product. So take that for what you will. But again, you know, it looks like they are working with a ton of creators here to promote the app. They're doing a ton of influencer marketing and their Instagram account is pretty strong as well. You can see on their reels, they're doing a bunch of before and afters showing the app. So we can safely assume that they are crushing it with influencer marketing on TikTok and Instagram, primarily, again, targeting a female audience. But I think the most powerful marketing tool for Retake AI is definitely going to be their Facebook ads. So I went ahead and did a deep dive on their Facebook ads library, and we can go ahead and take a look at a few of these videos that they're running. How to not look ugly. Yeah. It's called Retake AI. Crazy hook. How to not look ugly. That's a crazy. It's called Retake AI. It's the most natural AI editing app. It makes every photo Insta worthy and fixes your bad photos with your best version. Like, I don't know what technology exactly. So again, the before and after is showing the product itself. No eres fotogénica. No te preocupes, que está para ayudarte. Are you not photogenic? Resalta tu lado más fotogénico. So there, you, we can tell they're clearly targeting countries outside of the US as well. They're probably targeting globally. This is not catfishing just your photogenic version. It's called Retake AI. It makes every photo Insta-worthy and fixes your bad photos with your best version. Like, I don't know what technology exactly goes on here, but I just know that I am finally photogenic now. Download now and try- So they're, they're saying this is not catfishing, this is not crazy, it's just turning you into a more photogenic person. It's just slightly fixing your bad photos is the angle that they're trying to take. You can tell they're testing out with different angles, right? You know, one of these was how to not be ugly, crazy, crazy hook. And then some of these are playing on the lighter side of just being a little bit more photogenic or fixing your bad photos. Looks like they're using some AI content in their creatives as well. Girls, stop editing your photos like this. Use the most natural AI editing app. 
It's called Retake AI. It makes every photo Insta-worthy and fixes your bad photos with your best version. Now. So they're pretty much using the same format in every video. They have a strong hook, they show the product in action, the before and after, and then they have a call to action after every single creative. So this is doing very well for them. Clearly they're targeting multiple different countries. They have 480 ads live right now. These are all active ads. And this is just on Facebook, right? We try to find their active ads on TikTok, but the TikTok ads library isn't showing them. They're probably hiding them or not running too much, but 480 active ads on Facebook. This company is absolutely crushing with paid marketing. So that's it. This app is absolutely crushing it. And to be honest with you, it's fairly straightforward. They're using AI. This is an API wrapper, essentially, with a couple core features, retaking photos, fixing the bad ones, fixing the positioning of your eyes, adding a smile, right? Removing objects in the background. All this can be done with AI. This app has just condensed all these features into one simple product. It is controversial and they are crushing on social media. They have a couple good creatives that they are scaling to the moon on paid ads. And that's very clear to us now. It is number 15 in photo and video. This space can most definitely be disrupted because this app is crushing it. They don't rank for any ASO terms, any of the high traffic ASO terms. They are just crushing it with content marketing. So that's it. That's exactly how this AI selfie editor app prints $2 million every single month. And the crazy part is, again, this app is not very complex. It's an AI wrapper. They're using AI to touch up photos, to change the facial expressions a little bit. And you can take the same concept. You do not need a super complex app to make a ton of money. You just need an app that solves a very painful problem for people and is easily marketable. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be dropping so many more videos just like this, breaking down other successful apps on the store. And if you're someone just starting out and you're super interested in mobile apps, I dropped a 50 minute long video explaining my entire process of building, scaling, and then exiting the app. I dropped absolutely everything I know about coming up with an app idea, building it, and scaling it. You can check out that video right here. And as always, you can DM me on Instagram. I'll always get back to you. Steven.builds. Send me a message there and let's chop it up. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace.